Hey guys, Scott here from Red Rock Maintenance and today I'm going to talk about this brand new chainsaw I just bought. So the reason I bought this chainsaw was I had this uh, job that a customer had asked me to do. Uh, they had a big storm and the uh, trees fell down. They had about two trees fall down. They're pretty big trees. And usually I would take my brother's chainsaw, and actually it's funny, they're right down there, um, but half the time they never work. So I decided instead of trying to take my brother's chainsaw to do this job and getting there, and then I can't get it started, and then it won't work properly, um, that I would buy my very own chainsaw. Um, now, I haven't used a chainsaw that much in the last few years. Um, maybe in the last 10 years, I've only used a chainsaw like five times. Uh, I'm not a fan of using them. Uh, my parents did take me or make me take a course way back in the day to learn how to chainsaw. So around the trailer park, I would know how to um, use a chainsaw. My dad wouldn't have to do it. So I did take a course a long, long time ago to uh, run a chainsaw. Um, so before I show you the chainsaw, I just want to run three quick things. Um, when you're using a chainsaw, I've seen many, many people not wearing safety gear. You need to wear your safety gear wear, using a chainsaw. So I bought a pair of chaps, uh, which I did not bring down to show you, but I did buy a pair of chaps. Um, and I've seen a lot of people not wearing any chaps or like I said, any safety gear. I've seen guys out there in like sandals and no shirt on, chainsaw on. That's very dangerous. Uh, my dad, when he first used it, started using a chainsaw, he did not have any safety equipment and he actually cut his leg a couple times with a chainsaw. So you gotta be careful because they do kick back. Okay, so that's one pair of piece of safety equipment you need. Another is uh, a helmet with earmuffs. So one of these helmets you need to have. Um, I'm gonna be taking this one when I do it. Sorry, got interrupted there. Anyways, but as I was saying, you should get a helmet uh, with the earmuffs on it and with the screen protector so you don't get anything shot in your face. Um, as well, the helmet is good for if you're trying to cut stuff above your head, if it falls down, your head is protected. So you need to have your safety equipment, guys. I cannot stress that enough when you're chainsawing. All right, so let's get into the chainsaw. So what I'll do, I'll read some specs off for you first so you know what the specs are. Um, I have to find my book, it's over here. This uh, chainsaw, it's the MS261C. Uh, uh, it has 50.2 cc on it. Um, and it comes with the 16 inch bar. Uh, you can get the 16 inch bar for it, 18 inch bar, or the 20 inch bar. I decided to get the 20, uh, 18 inch bar actually, um, because I wanted to make sure that, you know, the tree I was cutting would be able to get through in one pass and I have to take the 16 inch bar and, uh, you know, cut through two, two different strokes on it. So that would take some extra time to do. So that's why I got the 18 inch bar. Alrighty, so let's show you the chainsaw quickly. Oh, and one other thing, it's 10, 10 pounds, about 10.5 pounds, I think they said. So here it is. Got the 18 inch bar right here. So I'll run over a few features to you quickly and uh, show you what it's more about. So first thing off, like I said, it's a still MS261C. Uh, you've got the, uh, I believe this is the gas can here and the oil, the bar oil one right here. And they're nice, easy flip tops, no tools. So you just go like that and they come off, which is very nice. Okay. So now for the first thing pretty, that's pretty nice about this one is, um, so when you pull it, apparently this here pulls a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but it pulls out a little bit. Apparently that's to help keep uh, fat gain stress off your arm so you're not, you know, wearing your arm out as much. The next thing is it's got one, two, three, four screws here. They are for um, taking this cover off to get to the air filter and it's just a quarter turn to take it off. Uh, let me see if I can find a tool quickly to show you. Quarter turn, quarter turn. Okay, there's only three of them. So there we go. It's off. So here you've got your uh, air filter here. And yeah, it's a pretty nice looking air filter. It's nice and round. All right, so that's inside of the machine right there. So the next thing about this one is it has no choke on it, um, which is nice because half the time when I choke these machines, they're very hard to get going, um, but it's got no choke on it. So all it has is a decompression button. So you take the decompression button, you push it in, and then you just flick this down to the start and you just pull it and it should start pretty easy. So that's, that's a nice feature. I've never heard of that before. Um, but like I said, I don't really run, run chainsaws, so do not know about that feature, which is uh, kind of cool. All right, next you have is the brake right here. So forward is the brake, pull it back, and it's, uh, the brake is off. All right, 
the next thing is these bolts here. Um, on old chainsaws, when you used to take these off, they would fall off and you would lose them in the dirt and ground. You couldn't find them. So apparently now when you take these off, they actually stick to this, uh, this metal plate here, which is nice. I guess it's got a thread on it and it sticks to it. So when you take it off, it stays on, which is awesome. Um, I'm going to like that feature because, uh, we actually took my brother's chainsaw out a few weeks ago and we actually lost a, lost one of those bolts. So that's a very nice feature of that. Um, so that's, that's run down the chainsaw. Let's take this off again. I'll show you the bar. So an 18 inch bar. Um, it looks very nice. I think it's going to work really, really well for what we need. Um, yeah, so that's, that's this little chainsaw here. If you guys run this chainsaw or have any experience with chainsaws, let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you like about it, what you don't like about it. Um, like I said, I'm not going to be using this for, actually I'm going to be using it next week. We have one hedge trimming job that I have to limb off some big limbs off. So we'll be taking it with us to, it'll try out, out that day. Um, trying to think what else. I think that's pretty much it for the saw. Like I said, it's a, it's not too bad. It's not too heavy. It's a pro model. Um, I think I'm going to like it. It's just not too heavy. It feels really well balanced. Uh, we've got the uh, handle here for it. And we've got the uh, back handle here for the throttle. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, this is my first chainsaw, like I said, so I'm quite, I don't know if I'm excited to use it or whatnot, but you know, we're gonna be out there testing it out. Uh, maybe I'll do like a review video on it once I use it and see how it is. And uh, yeah, let me show you to you once more. There we go. And they did fill up with a little bit of gas for me before I left and they did start it up so that uh, to make sure it runs. All right guys, if you haven't done so already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.